I'm going to leave a link down below to download Logitech G Hub for Windows or for Mac. Now once you download it, it should detect your mouse. You want to click on your mouse. And then by default, it's going to look something like this where it has four numbers. One of them is going to be yellow and the other ones are going to be white. So if you just want to set one DPI and you do not want to click on the DPI button on your mouse to switch DPIs, you could just remove all these white things and just by holding it and then just dragging it up, which will just remove all this. And now you just have one DPI. And then you could just drag the slider to set what DPI you want. If you want to have multiple DPIs, then just click and then this will come back. You could also set your polling rate right here. And if you want to use different DPS for different games without you having to switch, in the top right, you could just select this and then just select the game. And then when it asks you to enable automatic profile switching, click on yes. And now I have Fortnite selected. You just want to select what DPI you want for Fortnite. So now whenever you open up Fortnite or any other game, it will just be this DPI. But whenever you go back onto your desktop, it will then become this DPI. If you want to add a different game, you just want to click on this in the top right and then click on manage profiles. And then you can just click on add game or application. And now you want to look for where your application is installed and then just add the exe file, which will then make it appear here. If you want to disable automatic profile switching, then you just want to click on the lock right here. Now once you do all of this, I recommend going over to search and typing in task manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on startup apps and you want to make sure that Logitech G Hub has been enabled. So you want to select Logitech G Hub and then click on Enable. Then the status will change to Enabled.